Portsmouth now, where mystery continues to surround the disappearance of a man back in late February. Six weeks later, still no sign of him, but now we're hearing that the home where Hector Olmedo Jr. was staying has been visited more than once by police and NCIS since his disappearance. Ted Underside's Laura Moss is following up tonight. A neighbor told me Hector Almeida's friend was throwing items in a metal trash can and burning items in a fire pit. Police have been at the house behind me. Court documents show what they've discovered. Hector Almeida was reported missing on February 27th. His family hasn't heard from him since that date. In March, his uncle told me Almeida was visiting a buddy when he vanished. It's, it's, it's uncharacteristic for him to disappear. He's always available. He's always calling his family, especially his, his, his daughter. This, this time he's, he's gone. He's never, he, he's never done this. I went to Portsmouth Circuit Court where police filed multiple search warrants. Inside one court document, the friend, who is in the U.S. Navy, led a state police trooper on a high-speed chase on the peninsula on February 27th around 11 p.m. He's in jail for this incident. The car he was driving, a Kia Stringer, was searched. According to court paperwork, Amita's wallet, passport, bank cards, and phone were found inside. One search warrant says forensic technicians found what is believed to be blood spatter inside the Wilcox Avenue home owned by his friend. Also, a five-gallon bucket with hardened concrete that had an odor. Court documents say the remains in the bucket are believed to be the remains of Hector E. Almeida Jr. Also in evidence journals that show the state of mind of his friend, plus a knife, a metal trash can, a fire pit, subflooring, and carpet. The family recently saw these court documents. His father posted on Facebook saying, I was notified Monday night. My baby is no longer with us. You will forever live in my heart. I love you. R.I.P. His uncle told me we asked for time and privacy at this time so we can process the loss of Hector Jr. We asked law enforcement for more details in this investigation. NCIS told me that they are leading the investigation and Portsmouth police are supporting them. They declined to comment further. I'm Lauren Moss, 10 on her side.